we are starting with the story of someone who needed a bit of cheering up, to be honest. Yes, this is Miko, the grouper fish, and he's not been feeling great over the last few months. In fact, he's been rather down in the dumps. Uh, so much so that his keepers at the Sea Life Centre in Finland decided that there was only one thing that they could do to put a smile on his rather sad face. So let's find out just what that was by speaking to Marcus now. Good morning, Marcus. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning. We can see Miko swimming around behind you. And to be honest, Miko was a bit of a problem from day one, really. Even in the pet shop, they had to give him up because of his behaviour. Yeah, well, Miko's got tendency <clears throat> to eat all his tank mates, so oh, it has been a bit, a good of, tendency. bit of a problem. Yeah. Well, so I mean, that, you, that's you, the main main issue. You tried to. So it's little wonder he's on his own, really. But you tried to uh, to prevent that by putting uh, what are essentially poisonous lionfish in there with him. How did that mm. How did that work? Well, yeah, we were quite sure that that would be a good uh, tank mate for for Mikko, but obviously it it wasn't. So so he ate ate it. <laughs> so it didn't go very well. No. No, I'm not surprised. So uh, you can see big mouth. He has he got has a big mouth. I know he's a big fish and obviously very hungry. So obviously the lionfish didn't work out. He's eaten everybody else, and so now he really is alone. And even worse than that, no one's looking at him through the tank because obviously in the situation we find ourselves in, there's not many visitors. Um, so he must be incredibly lonely. And you think he is actually depressed? Well, yeah, he is depressed. We've seen this over the over the past also that that he has a tendency to to get uh, depressed. So he. If you don't have visitors here, uh, he tends to sit down on the bottom of the tank and also his coloration turns quite pale, palish grey, which is clearly a sign of sort of he's bored mostly. So, yeah, we know that fish can get depressed as well and, and having some movement here really helps and all kind of enrichments we tried with him well you as can well. see um, you can see that he's come close to the front of the tank whilst you're talking and we're looking at pictures now of what you did uh, for for his 16th birthday <laughs> uh, so um, so just to, just explain um, got, he was eating a cr is that that's like a crab cake is it like a salmon, salmon cake? I think well it's a, it's a big chunk of salmon and it, I think it was decorated with shrimps. Well, he swallowed the whole thing as, as a whole, so I don't think he, he really looked at it more. So he, he will basically eat whatever goes down his, his throat. Well, you put, you put, the, big, you put, big put, put, put a TV up to the front of the screen um, uh, and so that he was watching um, the, uh, the, the barrier reef. He's watching reef fish, which he oh. probably was just not for entertainment, just thinking probably that's lunch. <laughs> uh, but um, oh, look at but him th that perked him up, didn't it? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he he watched the TV almost all the time. So so it clearly helped with his his boring days without visitors. Oh, so, and if only but at the knew. moment we go on. Sorry. So at the moment we try to enrich him uh, by having actually a stuffed lunch here in front of his his display, and we also uh, brush him with that window brush he seemed to enjoy that kind of physical physical contact as well do you have the brush uh, there at the mo uh, yeah i i have one this is actually the brush we don't use anymore because we had a little accident uh with this one and mikko actually tried to eat it and and <laughs> that led to a um, um, major rescue operation we luckily got it out from his his mouth. So we, we use a little bit different brush, but when, when he sees the brush, he lays down on the bottom, turns on its side, changes his color. He, he gets uh, very pale with um, like white stars on, on his sides, which is uh, clearly a sign of some kind of sign of excitement. He actually displayed the same color just before, before you called us. Uh, but now he is probably just, he, he sees my, my feeding prong and, and he expects his lunch. It's midday here, so it's, it's Mikko's lunch time and I have a big mackerel for, for him as well here. A so, big mac. so we can big feed mackerel. him. Big mackerel. Oh, big mac. Big mac. This is Mikko's, Mikko's oh, big mac. Okay. <laughs> and, and he can clearly recognize this big oh, fish. Oh, uh, Look at him. 
Oh. He has so endless it, appetite. Do you do you do you have to go around the back to put that in the tank, or or can you? Yeah, lob yeah, that you over can. The top? You can follow me. You can follow me. Yeah, go on then. Just say, just say when. Okay. Yeah, go, 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 go. Let's watch him have his lunch. Well, it's well. not going to take long, and and some of our staff members really refuse to feed him because there's a big risk of getting a bucket full of water landing on you. Oh, oh my God. It's like jewels. That's it. It's gone. Well, listen, he's it's incredible. Gone. Yeah, I... We absolutely love him, and well done, like keeping everything going. Because I know these times are really difficult at the moment, and you know, keep feeding him. He looks happy enough there, and we'll leave him to have his lunch. And we've got some Thank messages you, that Thank people you, have we know sent. He's in. got a fan wall, actually. He's got a big fan wall of people who've now yeah, seen him around the world. Yeah, if only he knew yeah. and understood social media. Yeah, look at that.